how or why do you feel the art of convincing is important for a leader for example there was instance that you narrated in uh, many articles about gautam gambhir had to be convinced to move robin robin uttap up the order and he had to take the leap of faith it worked to a great extent in the end can you elaborate on this and also have you ever come across an instance where when you didn't you couldn't convince someone of your method or approach so how should someone or a leader deal with such situation as a leader you try and point out what are the options that are available to the team or to an individual or to the captain and uh, your job is to try and uh, do your best to convince them to persuade them to do and see uh, if it works out for the team uh, if for some reason the captain chooses not to do it you got to respect it because what happens is it's a captain who handles the players on the field now you you cannot even get into a, a kind of a situation where you have insisted upon the captain so much about one particular thing um, it gets a little bit uh, tricky to the extent that he tries to prove a point to you and does things which may be detrimental to the team yes generally captains don't do that but uh, sometimes what happens is if uh, somebody were to insist on the same thing to you you end up making a hash of things so that is something that you let avoid as a leader or as a coach of a team and uh, as well as helping and making an impact uh, by way of uh, convincing somebody or by way of persu- persuading somebody uh, you need to understand that uh, you should not really sort of uh, try to help people when they are not keen to seek help is going to be falling on deaf ears players will come to you if they need help yes you can try and subtly uh, hint that uh, they might have to work on something but uh, it's always better not to insist that uh, certain certain thing is got to be done by an individual if a player needs help the player will approach you now the important thing is that what do you do if he doesn't approach maybe yes somebody else who he thinks will be the most suitable person for him or her to approach and now you have to bite that bullet you can't say no no i am the coach of this team you got to come to me kind of thing no you can't the classic example was um, murli vijay had come to the nca when i was um, the head of nca there so the first two three days uh, we didn't get to talk and then fourth day he came and said uh, sir come and have a look at me then it says in the distance i happened to see rahul dravid there uh, he was not part of the nca then he had not become the head of cricket then uh, he had come to Uh, I have a chat with Pujara because Pujara had invited him. So I said, "No, no, forget me." I told Murli Vijay, "Forget me. I won't talk to that man." So, so he said, "Sir, I want you to come and have a look at me." Are you angry with me because I didn't come and meet you in the preceding three days? I said, "No, no. You don't seem to have understood me even now after all these years." He said, "No, I know. I'm just winding you up." I said, "No, no. You go have a chat with Rahul Dravid for the simple reason." you have gone through the first cycle of 40 test matches now he is gone through four cycles like that so now go and talk to him about what challenges you will face from test matches 41 to 80 that is going to help you a lot me coming and watching you bat in the nets can be done any day because i have got to be here when you come here i have no other option but to come and have a look at you if you think i should come and watch so then he said sir uh, you always have different ways of looking at things i said doesn't matter just go have a chat with him and then he came back the following day he said yes i had a chat with him and i think um, that uh, will help me somewhere down the line because he said uh, i caught on to what he said and uh, it will help me uh, at uh, certain points in time so you you need to understand that uh, because you happen to handle a side you cannot be prevailing upon the players to come to you only for help they could seek any source that they might feel is going to be beneficial for them mm-hmm. at the end of the day it is their career they obviously would do what they want to do in order to enhance and improve uh, their life or their career or their technical skills if they feel you are the person they'll come to you if they don't come to you don't get upset with the player that's not your job your job is not to go and get upset with the player because he's not come to you for help he's not you're not been given the role for that 